Luka's career 32.7 points per game in the playoffs are the second highest scoring average of all time, only .6 behind Michael Jordan. Without Luka to start the series against Utah, Dallas still took two of three games without their best player behind Jalen Brunson and Spencer Dinwiddie. Since returning in Game 4, Doncic utterly picked apart Utah's defense, keeping opponents on their heels and incorrectly guessing. First, after the peel switch from Mike Conley, Doncic embraces the contact with his upper body, banking in a one-handed floater on the weak side. About a minute later, again in the pick and roll, this time with white side in a high drop coverage, Luka tells Hassan, And look at you, you haven't even got a name tag. You've got no chance. Why don't you just fall down? Go on, son. Fakes the layup, and in one motion, fluidly locates Maxi Kleba in his pocket for the one-handed lob finish. This time, all five Jazz players have their eyes focused on stopping him, but as Doncic sweeps through as if he's going to attack, that freezes Utah's defense, and instead of looking to score, Dorian Finney-Smith catches Clarkson and Mitchell sleeping, and with all the attention on him, Luka finds DFS at the bucket. Even on a subpar 8 for 21 shooting night, the excellent passing reads from Doncic as the defense trapped him still allowed the Mavericks offense to flow. This video fully breaks down how Luka Doncic puts fear into NBA defenses. Right before that, just 10.4% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. In his fourth NBA season and third playoff appearance, Luka Doncic is averaging 29-11-6 on 60% true shooting. What goes completely under the radar in Luka's bag is how he can set up his teammates at will with his pure feel for the game. Doncic has the awareness to pinpoint when traps are coming his way in pick and roll scenarios. Here, Clarkson and House Jr. overcommit, with House Jr. faking a hedge, which many players would fall for and turn the ball over, but Luka just calmly throws a baseball pass on a hop to Dorian Finney-Smith for a beautiful pick and pop. That pass gave Doncic a bit more space to work with for himself in this high screen and roll, where Clarkson cuts off his right, but Doncic just spins back to his offhand and gets momentum into a drive from it, and watch the footwork, balance, strength, and straight magical scoring touch for the nasty floater. Luka's elite basketball IQ allows him to adjust to opposing coaches' game plans throughout the course of a playoff series and pick them apart like he's the LeBron James who made eight straight finals appearances. The third quarter of Game 5 saw the Mavs outscore the Jazz 36-19, and knocked down 8 of 12 three-pointers. 10 out of Dallas's 13 buckets were assisted on, mostly thanks to the decisive decision-making of Doncic out of traps and double teams. Speaking on his facilitation post-game, Luka said, I like sharing the ball. If they're going to double-team, somebody's going to be open. We've been playing against blitzes or hits this whole season, and I think we did great. Then it's just basketball, four on three. Luka not only resembles LeBron in terms of his intelligence to read defensive strategies, but how Doncic intimidates and plays little mind games with his opponents, whether it's slight stare downs or just the pure focus that he has, also gives me flashbacks of watching LBJ in his prime. Luka's underrated first step, along with his athleticism, forces his matchup to back off just a tad and respect a potential drive to the basket. This makes signature dribble combos like this one on Bogdanovich lull defenders to sleep, allowing Doncic to execute patented stepbacks leading into deep range bombs. While the drive and kicks plus floater passes to the paint are nasty, Luka's unteachable feel for the game doesn't strictly show itself in his passing. As shown off by Dallas's 23-year-old franchise player consistently, regardless of whether his matchup is on his hip or directly in front of him, Luka's got an extremely polished wherewithal to fade back off a defender's contact and get enough room for his shot. I can only imagine the amount of reps Doncic puts in taking contested layups and deep floaters. Again, we hear all the time about his scoring, but it's not only Luka's passing that goes completely undervalued. What about the 10.7 rebounds, 1.3 steals, and 1 blocks per game he averaged in round 1? Doncic may be a floor general, but it's easy to forget how valuable he is at boxing players out for crucial boards with his 6'8", 240-pound stature. 
Then there's Luka's overlooked ability to hold attackers in front of him, read the passing lanes, and make timely rotations. He's ranked number one on the Mavs in blocks per game during the playoffs so far, and among point guards, Luka's also tied with Chris Paul for the best defensive rating in the NBA. It's easy to get caught up in the fact that he owns the NBA's all-time highest playoff points per game average other than MJ, so you almost never hear anyone talk about the rebounding, defensive, and all-around physical presence that Doncic presents. No one seems to recognize Luka as an elite two-way all-around player, but that's exactly what he's proven to be. From weak side rotations and stuffed shots like this one on Boyan Bogdanovic, to his lateral quickness and footwork, which right here helps sandwich and turn over Donovan Mitchell, Luka has exceptional defensive instincts. In transition right here, Doncic completely reads what Mike Conley's about to do and flies over like Superman to intercept the pass. The best playoff performer in the NBA by far over the last three years, Luka Magic, went from scoring the most points in a playoff debut to piling up near triple doubles every single game. In the 15 games Doncic has played in the postseason over the past three years, he's had eight double doubles and three triple doubles that's unheard of for a player brand new to an NBA playoff environment. The young, bona fide superstar is averaging 32.7 points, 9.1 rebounds, and 8.1 assists, while shooting 49% from the field and 38.7% from deep over his three-year playoff resume. Doncic and Oscar Robertson are the only two players in NBA history to reach 450-plus points, 125-plus boards, and 125 plus dimes through their first 15 career playoff outings. Closing out game five and his first ever career playoff series, firstly in an ISO, Luka's inverted jab step leads right into his drive, which only lasts a few dribbles because followed by a regular jab step, Doncic then creates all the space in the world for himself with a patented step back, fooling House Jr. Secondly, working off a screen, Luka fakes out his matchup even worse this time for his second step back three pointer in under 25 seconds when it mattered most. Those two step backs fueled the Mavericks' comeback, eventually leading to a closeout win. But the question is what will Luka average against the Phoenix Suns in round two? Best answer down below in the comments section gets next video shout out. Top five commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise this summer, so leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Paxta, who says Curry's leadership by example reminds me of Tim Duncan when your superstar moves constantly without the ball, makes way for the hot hand, and will even come off the bench. You can expect total buy-in from everyone else. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.